Another way of turning an alkene into an alcohol is to use cold alkaline potassium permanganate. So in this reaction, the double bond is broken and an OH group gets added to both sides, which produces a diol. So instead of just a plain alcohol, it's an alcohol with two OH groups, so we call it a diol. This is a redox reaction. The permanganate is reduced from MnO4- to MnO2, um, manganese dioxide, and the hydrocarbon gets oxidized from an alkene to an alcohol. Note that this is one of those oxidations that really lives up to its name. We do actually add oxygen. Uh, we're going to go into more detail on the oxidation of organic molecules in the next lectures where we look at the reactions that alcohols can undergo. And this is essentially the same reaction that we used when testing for double bonds. You observe that the purple color of the permanganate changed to a brown color. That brown precipitate was the manganese dioxide. Now it's particularly important for this reaction that it be kept cold. The reason that it's possible, uh, the reason that you need to keep it cold is that it's possible for the oxidation to go further and completely break the double bond, splitting the hydrocarbon in half. We will meet this reaction later on, but it, uh, in another lecture, but it can be stopped, this splitting can be stopped by keeping everything very cold. So there's also a choice between whether you make the permanganate acidic, as I said, by adding acid, or alkaline by adding sodium hydroxide. Both work, but to get exactly this reaction with a diol as the product, it's better to use alkaline conditions.